Hey guys, my name is Jason. I'm the founder of Distress Loan Advisors. I help people with the SBA offer and compromise for 7A loans. And I also give advice for EIDL loans. And there's a link down below um, where you can visit my website. I've got like 80 something YouTube videos at this point and 200 articles. So I've got a lot of free information out there. Um, you can go to my website, check it out. And I do offer 30 minute consultations for especially for EIDL loans. Um, today's update from my um, video the other day where I asked you all um, if you saw your EIDL loans being reported on credit and pretty much everyone said it's not and then I got an email from one of my clients who said Jason I saw your video uh, it's on my credit and she sent me the screenshots and um, it's definitely there and it says a government loan um, couple of points because we're really trying to figure out why is it showing up on her credit report and a lot of other people it's not so here's what we know um, this was a loan through a legal entity so um, this person was not the borrower um, the other thing we know is there was a personal guarantee um, and the loan amount um, was five hundred thousand dollars so we're trying to zero in on you know what are the circumstances in which these things are being reported um, a couple interesting points one on one credit report it's showing as delinquent another one is just showing as closed so it's not even the same information which we're not really sure about but bottom line is if you default on your EIDL loan um, and right now we're saying if you personally guaranteed it um, there is a chance that it shows up on your credit um, for a lot of people that doesn't really change anything so in other words you know, people are defaulting because they can't afford to pay, not because it's a choice. Um, you know, it is a bummer if it hits your credit. Um, it would be preferable if it didn't, but we can't really control it. But, you know, for people who are trying to make a choice as to whether or not to default, this is, you know, just another decision point. It could show up on your credit and impact your ability to borrow elsewhere. Um, and the last thing that I'll say about this is it doesn't appear um, from the screenshots that I saw that the SBA put their phone number on there to contact them. Um, and years ago, the SBA um, hit someone's credit, one of my clients, and they challenged it. Basically, they disputed it. And because the SBA didn't have their contact information on there, the credit bureaus actually did remove it from credit. So if you're seeing your EIDL loan hit your credit, in particular, if it's hurting your credit, um, you may want to try to dispute it. I can't guarantee that they'll take it off, but I would make the argument that um, this is a business loan. This is not a personal loan and um, You don't have anything to lose um, You know either they keep it on and you know, it's the same or they take it off and um, You know your credit score is not impacted. So that's it. That is the update um, I've seen it with my own two eyes now. Um, I had heard a couple people previously say They had it or a friend had it, but I hadn't seen it But I did see the screenshots. So the EIDL loans um, appear to be showing up on credit obviously not everyone's credit but um, now it's known that it is a possibility and they will report it thanks for checking in and I really appreciate everyone's comments on the last one um, as questions like that come up I will make more videos and ask you guys for feedback and you know as a group we're, we'll figure out the really nitty-gritty details um, you know I'm pretty deep in the weeds on details but I don't know everything and so by learning from you guys and your experiences uh, as a group um, I think it really helps everyone. So thank you if you commented and um, I'll see you on the next one.